Hello friends, today I am back with one more app in which we will learn how to use drop down list in code.org. So we are going to make this app in this types of animals. If you choose one option like omnivorous corresponding screen will come and there is a button. If you click on this button, you will come on home page. If you choose carnivorous, then the corresponding screen will open and if you, if you click on back button, then you will come on home page. So let's start create this app. Click on code.org, enter your username and password, then you will come on your own home page. Then click on create and click on app lab. After this, we need to design our app. For design, we have the mobile simulator here. There is one screen that is screen one. So click on design and select theme for this. So I'm choosing a theme this. I need a label here on which I need to write type of animal. Okay. And need to select the font size because this is a heading and so heading should be big. So I am setting it 20. Then I need a drop down list in which I need to fill the options. So I want first option should be default which is choose second option should be omnivorous as we know three types of animal animals i'm omnivorous herbivorous and carnivorous font size should be big so i'm setting it 20 and then come on second page so I need to add a screen here on this screen I need a label on which I am writing omnivorous make the font size big and put a label here in which you can write the definition of omnivorous here so I am searching it on google omnivorous so the definition of omnivorous is, hmm, let me check, let me search on Google. Omnivorous. So the definition of omnivorous is this. Control C and need to paste it in this text box. So need to paste it here. Okay. Now format it. I want font size little bit bigger. So it should be 18 for me. And I need to paste an image here of omnivorous. So put an image button here and upload image on this image box so omnivorous is here and choose and I also I need a button on which I am writing back so that if I click on this I will go on home page similarly I need one more screen for carni uh, herbivorous for that I need one more label here I am writing herbivorous And then make the font size bigger, which should be 20. I need one more label here so that I can paste the definition of herbivorous here. And let me search on Google. So, herbivorous. Definition of herbivorous is this. Or you can choose according to your choice click here and paste it here make the font size little bit bigger and I need an image 
of herbivorous here so i am putting a image button here and will upload it from my device so upload file and this is my herbivorous image and choose it here and put a button here so on that you need to write back i need one more screen for carnivorous so i need a label here i need to write carnivorous here carnivorous and need the font size bigger i need one label similarly need to search on google about carnivorous need to pick the definition so carnivorous animals are to eat other animals copy and paste here in the text column paste okay and need the font size bigger should be 20 and for carnivorous image i need to put a image button here and will choose image from my laptop so this is carnivorous so this is almost designing is done but i need one button here to go on home page and right back so our designing part is almost done now come on coding part for coding what we need to do if you click on drop down list then that means on event drop down one what will going to happen if you click on drop down one on first option then set screen 2 which is for herbivorous omnivorous which is for omnivorous and okay we need to move it back as we need to use controls here if or else because we have three options here if user will select what option 1 then what will going to happen if user will select option 2 then what will going to happen for that we need to use if if user will select omnivorous then we need to use math function and put it here then come on ui control and go on get text get text drop down one is equal get text drop down one is equal omnivorous then what will going to happen omnivorous then what will going to happen set screen 3 screen 2 which is for omnivorous now take again one more control put it below this not inside it okay similarly use math function here come on ui control get text drop down one get text id if get text id is equal herbivorous then what will happen set screen just drag and drop it here this is very easy to do coding and this is the fastest way of coding now i need one more control here same thing i need to use math function here come on ui control get text id drop down one equal carnivorous carnivorous then set screen 4 which is for carnivorous let me check this first click on run and check omnivorous then corresponding screen is here 
click on back as we didn't do coding of back button so it will not work click on reset now we'll do coding for button so on event button one click what will going to happen on button one click set is screen one and So, uh, I think I need to change the, uh, let me check the in design about the options whether I did it right or the C is small here so I need to make it capital. Now it will work. Make sure the, the tools ID and the text which you written here are exactly same. Okay, now come on, on event button click. So if you click on button which are which will which is on screen two, then what will going to happen? Set screen one and as well set text. Where is set text? Set text of drop down one is which we wrote here by default choose. Similarly, on event button to click, which is on screen three, set text, drop down one, choose, and set screen screen one. As we have one more button on screen 4, so for that as well, make sure this will come out of that block of button 3, set text of drop down 1, choose and set a screen 1. If we will not set the drop down buttons by default then it will not work properly because if you select omnivorous then it will set permanent and your code will not work properly. So make sure you will select it by default on button click. So this is our coding done. Let's check whether it is working or not. Click or run choose anyone click on back see this is empty now now so that means something is missing here click on any option okay so i think i need to make it here set it here Now check again. So we'll check again why it is not working. Yeah, I got it. Ah, see, at the time of design, I write here only two stars. So I need to make it three stars. Because as I told you, I everything should same, then only the code will work properly. So click on run again. See, now it's working properly. Hope you understand all the things. Hope you understand the coding. So till then, enjoy your this app. One more thing, if you want to save this app, you need to click on rename, drop down. one okay then save it if you want to share it then click on share copy this link and you can uh, share with via facebook twitter or you can click open a new tab and paste this here and enjoy your app see how it looks like
so this is working perfectly hope you are also able to make this app now we'll see you again with one more app till then keep coding if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you thanks for your support